The reality is if you could lose your salvation, you would. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Mm -hmm. Every one of us would. That's right. Our eternal security is based on the faithfulness of Christ. Mm-hmm. not being perfect. Mm-hmm. Right. So every right. one of us would lose. That goes right. back to Hebrews 6, Thank you, which Jesus. is right. another strong right. passage. So I, I think what he's talking about here, and he uses Moses as an example when he goes down through there, uh, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. But just before that, he said, um, anyone who rejected the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Mm. And so that's what Moses did. He struck the rock and said, I spoke to it. And God basically said, right. because you blasphemy in front of all these people, I'm going to kill you. You're dead. Mm. You're not going into the promised land. So God, sure enough, took his life uh, 40 years later. And so Moses is the the exemplar. He's the one that shows us Mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with eternal security because he blasphemed God. God said he's going to take his life, and he did. But he reappears, the Mount of Transfiguration. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't get into the promised land in this life, but he did right. yeah. in the next one. That's right. Because he On reappears. the highest scenic point, yeah. standing next to a glorified Elijah. Jesus. Yep. Yep. Ultimately, we may not see it with our human eyes, but ultimately God really will cause everything to work for the good for those of us who love him and are called according to his purposes. 